All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Valhelsia 5. Guys, today we've got some fun stuff planned. I've done a bunch of work on the base. Yes, that is right. As you can see, we have a roof and a second story. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Nothing's really changed in here. I just moved my bed and this is how it looks up here. Nothing, nothing done really, but this is where the big business is. We have a basement. Isn't this cool? We have some glass looking out here. I like this look a lot, but then we also have a basement to that basement. And it looks out here. We have some glass. It looks pretty cool. And then we have a basement to that basement. <laughs> and yeah, this is the bottom floor. But this is perfectly at water level on this little pond here. Uh, so I really like it. We might have a door and a little like cove over here to go out and maybe do some fishing or do something related to the water or put some machines. But yeah, that's the big thing that we're going to be having here is the machines. Um... Yeah, so we're going to put a bunch of machines into the wall. We're going to section things off. Uh, we'll have a bunch of things here. We'll have some stuff here. Um, if you guys can't tell, the game is a lot smoother. The, everything looks better. I've also got a texture pack on, and that is because we are playing on the new computer. Um, I have a 12th gen i5, um, 32 gigs of DDR4, 3200 megahertz RAM, uh, a new NVMe 2 terabyte hard drive. Yeah, so this thing is rocking awesome. We're getting amazing frames per second. There's a pillager over there. Um, yeah, that's kind of weird. What what does it look like when I'm in F? Oh, I just lay down? Interesting. Okay, this is a mod I have installed to give us kind of that. It's like an add-on to the Rubidium mod. Uh, we also have got some shaders here. I really like the Silders one, but tell me what you guys think. I think it makes... It looks way too saturated. Um, don't get me wrong, shaders are amazing and all. And we don't even really have shadows. But, yeah, we're not going to... We're not going to utilize this one. I'm, I'll look into some shaders. If you guys have any in mind, let me know. I would love to, you know, use them. But let's go ahead and do what we want to today. Sorry, that was a long intro. I just got to talk to you guys. Um, yeah, and this is also coming right out of the long break. Uh, the previous video was recorded, I think, almost a month ago before I released it. So, yeah. Um, there's been a lot that's gone on since then. We're here. We need to get some cardboard boxes uh, because obviously, you know, from the title today, we're going to be going to the nether and getting some spawners. So, yeah, uh, we have we made the sawmill last episode and we're going to utilize that to make some cardboard boxes. We also have these conveyor belts for the spawners um, that utilize some leather and redstone and iron to give us eight conveyor belts, which is better than the vector plates because we don't have slime balls. Um, is there an easy way to make slime balls in this pack? Um, dough and lime, that wouldn't be the worst idea. Um, ew, sticky. That's interesting. We could turn cactus into that with Britannia. That wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Um, wait, there's a villager that trades it? Oh, it applied energistics too, guy. That's neat. And then we also have a blue skies dude who will trade it. And then a pressure chamber, yeah, pneumatic craft. We're not quite there yet, uh, but now we have enough to make a cardboard box. And what these allow us to do is actually, we click this um, and that will allow us to actually move a spawner. So we're gonna get a couple of these. I'd love to get two or three blaze spawners while we're there. So maybe I can offer them uh, to the other members or put one in spawn chunks so people can, you know, grind up some XP when they're new and get some good materials. Okay, so now we have three total cardboard boxes here. Uh, I do have a couple of arrows. We've got eight arrows, so hopefully we don't fight too many ghasts. There we go. Oh, oh my gosh, there's so many ghasts. Why? And we've pissed one off. Oh. Somehow not on fire. It's all gone wrong. Let's not run into any ghasts. Let's not do this. Oh my goodness. Do you see what that is? That is... Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a dude. It's a mosquito. <laughs> I freaking hate those things. 
What is that? Crawling on the ground. I might die. This might kill. I'm dead. Yeah. Dang it! Okay, so we finally made our way to a nether fortress. Now I did punch this into chunk base, uh, so I was able to find it so I knew where I was going. Um, but yeah, I feel... Whoa. I've never seen these before. Gold bars. Oh, they look good. I like them. I like this overgrown sprout. Sprouts. Oh, we got a spawner. Okay. So what we do is we run up really quick before they can spawn in. Nope, not before they can spawn in. We'll have to kill this guy. Over here, maybe? Look at me. Okay. He's weak. Yes. Now we can just break this. Oh, yeah. We now have ourselves a spawner. Isn't that amazing? That simple. Perfect. So now we'll be able to come back. Oh, wow. Another spawner. Oh, geez. I didn't have one ready. Nice. Got him good. Okay. So we got one more cardboard box. If I find anything else cool here, I'll let you guys know, but we'll be back soon. Okay, so this is pretty big. I just found this in a chest. It's a spawner agitator. Uh, when placed on mob spawners, the spawner agitator will prevent the spawn entity from despawning when the player leaves the area. Additionally, the spawner will keep spawning while the player is not in the area mob farm anyone. This is fan freaking tastic. Um, yeah, this is extremely valuable to us. Yeah, we don't need the nether wart. Um, pneumatic craft. Mm, ancient tome. Fortune one. Mm. Grab that. Um, well, I mean, might as well grab those. Warm nether wart, perfect. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys that because that is huge. We don't actually need like anything else from this place, I believe. So I think, yeah, I think it's about time that we head out. Yes, we didn't get the third spawner that I really wanted, but like we got something really, really amazing. Um, pumpkin seeds. Oh, music disc. I don't know if that's copyrighted, so we might just leave that. Let someone else grab it. Cool. Um, yeah. So I'll go ahead. We will start the other process. All right, guys. So I'm really sorry about that last uh, segment of the video, or the first segment. Uh, I had the wrong. Uh, sound part selected for the recording so I was recording track one and two but I had my game sound coming through on track three so there was no sound there so I really do apologize for that um, but yeah so now we have everything we need you guys should have all of the sound all of the beautiful sound and we're gonna be crafting up some stuff here so I want to go ahead and make these conveyor belts from immersive engineering and yeah so 64 is gonna be enough because 9 by 9 9 times 9 is 81, and I need 80 of these, and we only crafted up 64, and I've just realized that my math is totally off. Um, I'm going to go collect some more leather. I need to breed up my cows and such. Hmm. Okay, so now we have the sufficient amount of conveyor belts, which was kind of awkward earlier. Um, but yeah, now we're going to go ahead and create our mob spawner. Um, let's see here. It needs to be relatively close. Um, hmm. Trying to think. We could carve it into this mountain here. Um... So it wouldn't be such an eyesore. Put it right in here. And we do have a little bit of area cleared out back here. Um, I'm gonna fill this in with cobblestone for now. I'm probably going to regret, I don't know. Oh, the pork, let me place that. Um, yeah, so we'll put like, this the mob spawning area and we will, cause it's not like we don't have to drop the blazes a certain distance. They're just gonna come down and we have to kill them all the way. Um, or we could use some spikes or something like that. So we don't actually need a super duper big room. So I think we're gonna make the entrance 
right here and then we'll have a staircase kind of bringing or not bringing but kind of leading up to here that way it's still relatively close to our base we're also going to move the enchanting setup in there with the mob farm so yeah we'll have like some stairs coming up here and we should go we'll have a door that goes just like this and we'll go in a little bit and we're going to need room for an enchanting setup and all of the nefarious items so i will go ahead and start working on getting this place carved out for us Alrighty, so what we've got here is I've got a four block drop. Uh, I turned this into a three by three just because I think it would look better than having them into a two um, blocks area. But yeah, so we're gonna put like the chanting table over here, all the storage on this side. Uh, we do have kind of a cave over here so we won't have to like dig out a whole i might make this the enchanting side um but yeah we're gonna do the whole trap door and one spruce door kind of method um yeah but the the hard part i believe is done or the tedious part now it's just placing these guys and so what we're gonna do is just kind of place them like this uh road to nowhere okay i got an achievement very cool so yeah it's just a lot of this um if I, I believe if you shift on it yeah you don't move so that's good um yeah and so this is pretty neat if you ask me i uh, I'll, Okay, there we go. So all roads lead to Rome, right? It's, we're here. It's gonna get really dark for you guys. Sorry. Okay, we'll place a torch here. So we're gonna just place the cardboard box. We're gonna shift right click. We're gonna place this on it. And then we're going to escape. Place this here. Is that right? say error? Nope. Nope, this is bad. Okay. This one. We can take one. Okay. So they faked me out. Alright, so we got kind of a mob farm here. Cool. So they're gonna, they're gonna continue to spawn in, which is gonna be awesome. So if I go over here and come back, they there should be a bunch down there, which is really cool. I'm also thinking like if we put a conveyor belt facing the back of the server. Oh, I've got some pretty bad ping. That's what's going on. All right, quick little relog. Seems to have fixed the the ping I've been experiencing, which is good. Yes. Instantaneous. I should have some meat in here. Perfect. Some meat. All right. So, um, let's build those spikes. All right. So I want to see what these spikes do to the blaze. And we're going to throw these over here so we can grow even more bamboo because scaffolding is cool. All right. So those blaze should still be there now they're not chunk loaded so i don't know if when i logged and logged back in if they despawned i hear them they seem to be a few these guys drop a lot of experience for us which is why i always go for a blaze spawner what we might be able to do is say place the spikes like that and they should take damage on the way down. That is definitely awesome. So if we place it here and here, and they have to fall through two of those. Okay, they're still falling. So they just need one. So 
place those there. That will soften them up. Um, yeah, but they're dying so much faster now just with those spikes. So I'm going to be here for a bit. We're going to get some experience, and we're going to have a good time. All right, so with almost having 30 levels, you know, we better start getting into enchanting. The only issue is we have no books. So I need to do... I turned the sound back up. I'm so sorry. I need to start breeding up all of my cows, which means I need to start farming a lot more. So there's a lot of things to be done. We just hit level 30. That's fantastic. Let's hit level 31. Booyah, look at that. Level 30, so good. So yeah, this is gonna be my next focus. Um, yeah, so I have to wait and grow all of the cows and farm them. So yeah, I'll be here for a bit. I don't have a lot of bone meal, so we just have to hurry up and wait. That's the next key, hurry up and waiting. All right, people, so on my adventures, I have found a zombie spawner that we are going to be also utilizing because if we look here, rotten flesh can be turned in, wait, what does it do here? No, it can be turned into leather using a drying basin. So that is what we're gonna be setting up. So we've already got one uh, mob, fawn, mob spawner set up. And I also found two more of these in the same dungeon that I found the zombie spawner in. So we're going to be creating those. Um, yes, I would ideally love to have a skeleton spawner so we could do make that. But yeah, I also did the door here and we have lots of dudes. So yeah, the uh, the zombie one's gonna be pretty interesting because we're gonna be just making a vanilla uh, zombie spawner. So yeah, it should be fairly straightforward and easy to, to create. Um, we're either gonna drop them 23 blocks. So it's important that I get some kelp. Ooh, I don't have a lot of kelp, that's okay. Um, get some kelp and we get some soul sand which is right here so that the guys can go up we're gonna get a bunch of sticks i think i have some sticks somewhere over here yes and then some weed and we'll create signs yes okay so typical mob spawner we're gonna make it and we're gonna have some fun we're gonna get some zombies and It'll be a good time. Okay, guys, so this is what we've got set up here. I actually didn't give myself a very good way to get back into the spawning room, so we're gonna have to chisel around here. Uh, but I cleared out this big area. Uh, we just have this going here, two streams, force these guys this way, and so that way it, it should be pretty easy for them to get into there. Um, yeah, super, pretty simple. Um, so all we gotta do now is just install the spawner, uh, which we, we're gonna, uh, yeah, we're gonna do two from the ceiling. Okay, there's that. We're gonna get an escape route in here, like so. We can break this. Um, here we go. So shift right click, one of those guys. One of those guys. Ah, oh, I did that in the reverse order. Yep, there we go. Got zombies spawning in. However, oh. <laughs> oh no. He landed on me. Oh. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm the only one on. Jeez, that was crazy. There go all of my levels. Jeez. So we're gonna chunk load this one and this one. So we can we can pretty easily get all of our levels back. Especially with these, but the zombies are really for um, the rotten flesh. So we can put these into the drying basin. Um, this guy here. Yep, it's pretty simple. We just need some black. Oh, you just turn charcoal into it. Very cool. So let's go ahead. We've got 
that all being made. Yeah, it was 40 levels, which was quite a bit, but that that's okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll get all of that back. But yeah, so this is our little mob farm area. It looks cool because it's in the mountain. We're not using a big giant square building this time around, so I really am a big fan of that. Um... So yeah, let's make this drying basin here. So we just need some wood, iron, and two of those. So let us do this. Cool. So that'll smelt up. Can we really turn that into black dye? That's fantastic. That should be in normal Minecraft. I like that so much. So we're gonna grab a little bit of iron here. One, two. We'll sort that. Perfect. Okay, and then we just need some wood. One, two, three, four. This should be done. Amazing. Black dye. Drying basin. Cool. So now we're going to go ahead and get rid of this guy. And we're going to put it like this. And if we check after, what was it, five seconds or something crazy short like that? Yeah, five seconds. Boom. We have leather. So that's going to be amazing. Uh, do we have any pipes? We got these guys that require that. Um. Let's go ahead and automate this real quick. I want to do it with you guys on camera so you guys know what's going on. Um, we're going to need one osmium, some coal. We're going to go out to our little station over here. All right, so we have carbon in here. I'm going to throw those in. We're going to turn these into steel, and then we're going to use this to get to the middle guy. And then lapis, two infused. Okay, so we're gonna need four infused alloy. So we need some four iron. One, two, three, four. Oh, we have two, so that means we only need two of them, actually. And we're gonna throw some more redstone in there, which is good. Okay, enrichment chamber. Let's throw some of these in there. Perfect. All right, we're almost done with the last one. Sweet, now we're gonna make that. redstone for our buck always gonna be amazing and we got some steel dust Sweet. Cool. so the reason why we're utilizing this is I want to set an output do we have drawers in this yes okay thank goodness we have drawers so finding just like an oak drawer there we go just an oak drawer we're gonna put yeah I'll show you so that can run for a bit which is good and then we just gotta smelt these bad boys up. Okay, so that's about one and a half items. Figurator, we're missing the redstone. There we go. All right, so here we go, we got that guy. And we just need one lapis. And we have the configurator, perfect. All right, and so now we can take these two guys paired up with this guy and boom so we have eight logistical transporter cables and now we just need some wood um we'll just use spruce so we need one of you that's gonna be perfect all right so first thing we are automating is this guy um yeah, so we're gonna grab him for now. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. And let's just put it like here. So the logistical transporter goes there, the drying basin goes here, and then for to keep it balanced, we're gonna do that. It's gonna pull items out of here, out of here, push and push. We don't really need to put the pushes on there, but we're doing it because we want to. So then we take the leather, we throw that guy there. And so only leather can be put in there. So that means only um, leather will go in there. So once this is done, it's ready. So as we can watch, this will process. And as soon as it's done, it's gonna get taken out and put into this guy. Booyah, so now we have two leather in there. So we have just automated the production of leather. Now, the only thing is we have to keep the le at least one leather in there because if there's no leather in there then it's not like there's only one item slot so if it sees that there's more it's just gonna pull oh baby zombies hmm gonna have to address that
Oh, yes. The thing is, they're weak. Oh, carrot. Okay, so we should be able to address that with just simply um, putting a, like a half slab or a trap door up at the top. Shouldn't be too big of a problem at all. But there we go. We have the twin mob farms going at it. And we have automated leather. So that means in no time at all, I've got a lot of um, sugar cane too. We can set up a full enchanting setup so we can really get to work on creating our tools, which means we'll be able to get more resources, which is why we're doing it. We need fortune. All right, so now we have the proper amount of leather here. If we look up into this guy, we should see that we have quite a bit of sugar cane, hopefully enough to make that many books. Okay, yeah, we definitely do. Cool, cool, okay. So I don't wanna utilize all of this because I need to go plant it so that we can get some more. So like this, hope we need one more. Oh, not like that, oops, there it is. There we go, 45 books, amazing. So let's go, yep. Let's go, whoop, and let's go, whoop, perfect. Now we're gonna throw this in here just for now. We can always move this later. Booyah! That means that we can do... Okay, so I got it to work one time. There we go, okay. So let's say we throw in this guy and this guy. Silk touch, efficiency. Oh, I see. So we threw in a bunch, okay. So, So we have Hmm. Breaking, okay. Touch each other. And it's gone. Okay, so I think we need to add more levels into it. So let's do that. This is kind of an interesting detour that is very difficult. And we got more baby zombies. Hey, get smacked. Okay, so we got a couple more levels here. Okay. So we added some more. Hmm, okay, well I guess I need to do some research on this guy because now we have efficiency and breaking. Oh. Oh, I see, we grab this and we click it. Okay, now I get it. So that's efficiency four. And now, let's see, efficiency four. We drag these on. Efficiency five. Holy cow. Okay. 
So this is a breaking three efficiency five pickaxe. This is going to be fantastic. Okay, now this makes sense, the enchanting system. However, accessing the table is a little weird, but that's okay. So we'll just add in a bunch of these. So I'm breaking top right, that's pretty good. All right, I'm breaking two, fire aspect, leech, sharpness, definitely. This is fantastic. Looting. Yes, my friend, we got looting. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I really like the enchanting of that. I'm glad we figured it out. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching the video. If you did like it, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'm going to do a whole bunch of enchanting off camera. Anyways, I'll see you all later. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.